we're back and it's <laughs> it's the best time of the year every time uh my bestie comes on because my bestie is here it's your little mental so give it a <laughs> big, big, big applause Yay! i am i am excited to be here yes. um, and it is the best time of it's the best time of year it's it's october it's, it's october. halloween it's it's spider-man it's everything yes yes so exciting uh how have you been yuri that's the first question very important i've i've just been uh just waiting for this game to come out you know i you get to a point where you can't do anything about it um and you just want people to i mean i've i've been at that stage for a while because my part of the game was done before certainly before the game was uh done but uh i just i just i'm just tired of keeping secrets (laughs) <laughs> I just want the game. I just want the game to be out. I don't like keeping secrets. Okay. But you're not the Tom Holland type, at least. That's true. <laughs> I'm not as bad as Tom Holland at keeping secrets. I love you, Tom. Uh, but um, but uh, but I just hate doing it. It just it just it's hard, and it and it feels bad. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun thing that you're really excited about. You want to be able to talk exactly. About I'm just it. excited for people. I'm excited for people to play it. You know. Yeah. To, to get through all the all the good comments and the bad comments, you know, because because, you know, there will always be some Always. no matter how, ah. no matter how no matter how good the game is. Yeah, you just can't avoid them. It is what it is. But before we get into you talking about the game, Katie, introduce our podcast, please. Let me do the thing. Hello, everyone. Do the thing. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Lily Kay. And this is one of our favorite people, Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. Before we start, here's a quick warning that there might be a few spoilers as we talk about Spider-Man. So if you haven't played the game completely yet, then turn this off and come back once you're finished. Right, right. And I and I promise I I don't want to, I know that the game will have just come out and I don't even want to spoil things for people who are just starting to play it or who who don't have a PS5 yet but they're trying really hard and they you know, they're going to get it uh, soon and like so I'm not going to I'm not going we can we can we can talk about it, but I won't. I'm not going to ruin anything. Yes, yes, that's the plan. All right. So the first uh, very important question about the game is: uh, What is was it good? <laughs> God, I hope so. God, I hope so. From you know what? From from what I've seen, which is arguably very little compared to uh, uh, you know many reviewers at this point, and um, you know just <laughs> most of the people out there. Um, I, I know very little. Uh, I've seen very little. Uh, but what I have seen is is extraordinary. It's great. Okay. It's like it's it's even better than I thought it was going to be. So, but so were, were, were you allowed to read the script, uh, or were they going the Marvel way, and you are not allowed to read the right? script? I know they they, they try to. <laughs> yes, I was I was allowed to 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 have all the things that I needed to do my job, um, and I and I got a you know a chance not that long ago to to see some of it and to play a little bit of it. And it was it was better than I thought it was going to be. But at the time we're recording this, obviously we've still got another two weeks. But yeah. <laughs> like, two weeks, two weeks. Me now. <laughs> In two weeks' time, we're going to be vap slinging again. It's going to go like best. that, and yet it's also moving so slowly, like this entire year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The time is so weird. Like time has always been weird, but is it not weirder these days? Yeah, definitely it is. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like that we are just stuck. At, at one point and nothing is happening and then suddenly everything just comes at you very quickly and it's like please stop <laughs> yeah i know especially this time of year too like you get to halloween and the year's basically over yeah 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 kind of yeah but we get to the best months which are the cold months <laughs> that's true right that's oof. it's been hot even where you guys are which is not usual is it i mean it's been cooler this Ish. year than it was last year but okay. I, it, you know, it's it's October and it's still like twenty degrees yeah. outside, which is right. not normal. Right. I was I was there last year and can't I can I can concur. Uh, summer uh, was a lot hotter than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty. It was hard to deal with last year for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but this time around, it's better. Definitely better. Like you know, we yeah, can. But still we're not survive. here to talk about the weather. We're talk- We're here to talk about the weather. I'm sorry. I'm British. It's game. hard for me. To <laughs> no, 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 no. It's I. I do the same. I do the same thing because. <laughs> Look, it's either the weather talk or hair talk because yeah. we love hair at this podcast. So it's like you just got to deal okay. with it. Fair <laughs> Before we get into the game, you were sneaky, sneaky. I don't think we talked about this. 
uh, on the podcast, but I even messaged you after Across, Across the Spider-Verse was like, Hi. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yuri. <laughs> I know. Well, here's the thing. I'm trying to think of how long before the, the movie came out that we spoke because there were there were times when even after that trailer had dropped yes. with Insomniac, Spider-Man and Miles walking down the, the thing. Yes. We were like, you in the movie? And I'm like, I hope so. I hope they call me. And they had they still hadn't called me at that point. So so to some people I was not lying. Um okay. if if we talked about it within like two and a half to three months before the right before the movie came out, I may have been lying a little bit. Um <laughs> but uh just not to, to 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 ruin it. But I but I will say they waited um I thought for a while that maybe they were just gonna show Insomniac Spider Man in the film, but just not have, you know, a voice for him. Or, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. maybe, you know, because this is Hollywood, maybe they'd get somebody else to, you know, to oh, voice him. But uh, but because, and I found this, I, I realized this only when I went in to record my, my you know, lines, uh, that because they're all masked, they could wait until the last second to record us because it had nothing to do with the animation. So, so that was... I'm, you know, I know that now, but I was panicking early on. I'm like, maybe they're not going to call me. Maybe this, maybe they're just going to move on without me. Uh, but then I got the call. I got to go in and work with Phil Lord, um, you know, for an, for an hour. I mean, he was, he was so delightful. He, he's like, Hey, I think, you know, this is, we just need you for this little bit, but, but maybe we'll come up with something, you know, extra funny. So let's riff. And like, we riffed for like an hour where like he would come up with some ideas and I'd come up with some ideas. And then I think we ended up going with originally what they had written, but, <laughs> um, but it was still, it was fun. He was a very, very sweet guy. Yeah. Oh, I hear only good things about Phil Lord. So it's like, it's nice to get confirmation that he's nice. It <laughs> yeah. always helps. You know, spinning from that, there were some theories on Twitter, everywhere, basically, that uh, maybe this Spider-Man 2 is kind of connected to Across the Spider-Verse in some way, or it's going to get a mention or something, or is it like, so this, you know, in such a little time frame that it's not even a possibility. If it, if it does, yeah, I think I can say that it doesn't intersect with my storyline. If mm -hmm. they're going to, you know, put some teasers in there or mentions or some sort of crossover element, it did not intersect with my storyline because... I think I would have I would have known about it. Yankee, you seeing this? Bro, what the hell is happening? Miguel comes looking for these. Tell him finders keepers. Wait, who's Miguel? <laughs> but but I don't you know in in all the stuff that we recorded I don't remember interacting with with any mm -hmm. characters from that universe. But you know they used our stuff. Maybe we'll use some of their stuff. You know, I'm I'm finding that now when, you know, I famously I, I you know I like three percent at the first game and walked away, uh, <laughs> not because it was bad, but because I'm old and lazy. But I've been pl I've started playing it again. Yeah. Uh, I started over again with my son who's seven now, and he wanted mm -hmm. to start playing it. I'm like, oh, maybe this is my opportunity to to have an excuse to go back and spend some time. And I've gotten a lot further uh, into the game <laughs> because you know we just hand off the controller back and forth when we get frustrated. Yeah. yeah. Um and. And it's been super fun because there's a lot of stuff in the game and probably in this new one as well that wasn't part of my job. So I didn't know about it. So it's, you know, it's it's little Easter eggs, you know, in the in the world, in the, you know, mm -hmm. in the open world, you know, things on posters and um, references to this and that and just little things that that had nothing to do with my job. So I didn't know about them. And it's been super fun because mm -hmm. I, you know, I get to experience all this stuff. Yeah like anyone else playing the game i seem to remember it came out the first game came out or around i think the same year or maybe a year after the last season of daredevil dropped so i, I got to go off and find you know nelson and murdoch and then and, and, uh, i think it was around the time jessica jones season three came out as well this could be entirely yeah. wrong and somebody will correct me. <laughs> but, <laughs> i think that that was correct so i went and found you know alias investigations and everything so i was like this is just I, this is a great game <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I love that, you know, as I, as I go, you know, go to conventions and talk to people about Spider-Man and talk about the game, people are like, yeah, I, you know, I just, I'm getting ready for the second game. I just, you know, finished my 20th playthrough. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, 
I love almost more than anything else that it's the kind of game that people can come back to 100%. and play again and enjoy it all over again. How many games do you just keep playing through and still having fun? Not I mean, many. that's that's huge. And, and I and I hope the second one is one of those as well. I mean, to be honest, it already looks freaking amazing that we've only seen a little so far. But like, I'm you know, such a sucker for any Venom content. <laughs> this is gonna oh, be a great well, time. there is there is a lot for you to love yeah. in this game. Yeah. <laughs> and they you know they knew that going into it you know they're like people want to see venom let's give them venom yeah yeah i have such like um you know when you're a kid and or at least for me when i was a kid and i played some video games i never got very far into them because i had absolutely no like uh, staying power with anything <laughs> right. but i had some form of spider-man game on um the Mac that we had was like the family computer that I think I yeah. started so many times that I remember it had um it's not Catwoman, it's Black Cat. Um oh, right. That's the one. It, and that, that happens uh, all and... the time even with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the I think for a long time I thought Catwoman was somehow in Spider Man um because of that game. And it's one of those like yeah. really amorphous memories where I'm like, I don't know where this came from, but it was something. But it had it had yeah. Black Cat and it had definitely had Venom in it. And I don't think I ever got past the beginning, but like that's the version of Venom that lives in my head. It's about three pixels, um, you know. <laughs> totally. <laughs> just just like the the Spider-Man that lives in my head is, you know, that they were rerunning that that, you know, 60s Spider-Man that we, you know, mm -hmm. get our theme song, you know, mm -hmm. our, our favorite Spider-Man theme song from. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, that was the Spider-Man show that I grew up with. It was, you know, that that was the, you know, you, we had such so little. Now, right now we're living in a time, you know, a great time to be a Spider-Man fan. <laughs> like there's there's so much good Spider-Man stuff out there. Um, and when I was a, you know, when I was a kid, there was less. Uh, but so, so I just hoovered it up, you know, wherever I yeah. could get it. And that's in many ways, people are like, who's your Spider-Man? And I'm like, you know, you know, Toby is, you know, my film, you know, but, but who's my Spider-Man is that's my Spider-Man, you know, I mean. Exactly. That's what we have. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. We can't do too much. They will copy us. Right, exactly. We don't want one to, to have to bleep any of that stuff out for copyright reasons. We have beautiful voices, so they're going to understand. That's it. Fun times. All right. So we have, once again, many villains in here. We yes. can say. There's a few. <laughs> There's a few. Mm -hmm. uh, some some that you know are coming based on you know yes. the what we've seen um and some that we've done a pretty good job of keeping hidden i think and so some you won't even see coming which is great very exciting okay being I... surprised. <laughs> okay then shut your ears i want to know <laughs> go away katie i want to know please <laughs> so you want to know you want yes. you want me to yes i don't want to uh, i don't want to spoil anything for anyone <laughs> um this is hard i love spoilers it's okay but uh, but they're they're they're. Oh. I've been so well trained to like not say anything. It's hard for me to, <laughs> even though I know this is embargoed, and people will know. Um. Uh, it's hard, but uh, but you know what? Uh, you're a you're a siren, and it's um and uh, you've always been able to get me to talk. Yeah. Um. So it the 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 game starts with Sandman. So, sorry. Um, yes. Uh, yes. Who is? Yeah. Um. You'll get. Uh, you'll get other villains around the way, but I mean, that's you know, that's like there's a whole. I love that people are saying, "Oh, well, you know, they've shown us too much." You know, we don't I'm like we haven't. Yeah. We really haven't. You have no idea what's coming. Like, there's so there's so much. There's so oh, much. Okay. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Katie. You can yeah. put your headphones back in. <laughs> Hello. It's done. Yes. <laughs> oh, I gave yes. something away. It felt yeah. dirty. It's okay. It's between us and right. Know, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's it's all good. Right. You're not going <laughs> to tell anyone. No. <laughs> Fun thing. It's, for not me. Like, it's, it's not like this is a show that people. Yeah. You know, exactly. It's fine. Uh, uh, you guys don't have a huge subscription. Like I don't. You know. I don't know the numbers. I always just assume that you guys are pretend you have this show so we can hang out. Maybe. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. That's just a theory. It's just a theory. It's just a theory. It works in the multiverse of madness. Um, okay. Okay. That's, that's a good one. That I know was very now. fun to watch 
without hearing anything. I bet. I, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> you looked so sheepish about giving out this like. It, well, it's so uncomfortable. It's very, it's very on brand for Peter Parker. It's okay because I am. Uh, everyone is always like, ah, I don't want to know spoilers and, and anything. But I'm like, I like surprises. That's true. I will admit that. But then sometimes I'm just like, I want to know now. <laughs> I, I can't have myself. I, I like that in between space, which is why I quite like trailers because I like knowing what I'm going in for. Yeah. I am very bad at going into things blind, where I've literally because sure. like I'm like I, I it makes it genuinely makes me anxious sometimes. Where I'm like, no, I need to know a little bit. It's just a little I, bit. So I, I love I love myself. trailers. Like I love trailers mm-hmm. almost as much as I love Same. movies, but they but they have to be edited in a way that it gets you excited about it, but doesn't tell you the whole, you know, the whole thing. For sure. Yeah. You know, I have a friend who. Uh, who used to uh, like we would, we would go to the movies and he would during the trailers he would sit there you know with his with his finger he would be like scratching over his you know so that he couldn't even couldn't hear anything with his eyes closed couldn't see anything yeah and yeah. which I thought was you know a little silly but yeah, I just you know. I love like I you know people are like oh you know you can always show up 10 15 minutes late for a movie because you know they're going to be 10 minutes of trailers I'm like I know I, that's I why I go yes, I, I want to see the trailers that's it yeah uh but I we did have an episode on it I I am now at the point where trailers are so predictable in a way yeah. where yeah. if you watched a lot uh you can basically figure out that you know sure. if they put a certain scene in the trailer that's either going to be the end of it. it's it's a whole theory that it right. seems to work so it worked. right well, I, they should they should start editing trailers in a fashion to mislead us so we exactly. think we know and, uh, and we don't know yeah yeah although i think legally is is not allowed at this point yeah that's true <laughs> that, so. I, but I, you know i remember trailers growing up where i would see things uh in particular i remember the last boy scout yes trailer uh there was there was stuff in there and it was the first time i went to a movie you know, looking for something from, you know, specific things from the trailer and they weren't in the cut of the film. And I was just like, yeah, it's a lie. It's a, it, ha- yeah. it happens. That's why they came up with that law that, you know, they yeah. no longer can do that. It happened so many times. Let's get back to Spider-Man because okay. uh, it's, it's a bit different this time around. Because obviously we, we have you, but we also have Miles. And yeah, uh, I, I, I want to know more about how the dynamic is going to work. Because we heard so many things at this point of, of how it's going to go. But like, yeah. let's hear it from Peter Parker himself. That's it. Okay, fair enough. Um, you know, I mean, that was one of the things that was so exciting about going into this story mm-hmm. and this game is seeing how relationships change. It's relationships we've already established. Yes. And we've grown since the first game. You know, Miles... We sort of meet Miles, you know, halfway through the first game, and we, you know, he gets his powers at the at the, at the very end, mm-hmm. and then he gets his his whole his own you know whole game to watch him grow. But you know, we've already even in that first game started a bit of a mentorship relationship, yeah, and which continues into the second game. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, by the by the end of the second game, I mean Miles is is pretty on par, you know, I mean, you know, powers wise with Spite with Pete, you know, he's. He doesn't have, you know, the the years of experience and the, you know, the quite the the confidence, but you know, arguably Pete still, you know, could do a lot of work in the confidence department. Mm-hmm. Um, and in this game, it's been re- it was really interesting growing that relationship and realizing, and I think even in the, you know, you know, look in the commercials, this is a this is an evenly matched game. And as far as it's not a you know, Pete centric game with, you know, some miles in it or, you know, miles game with a little bit of Pete, it's yeah. Pete and miles equally represented in this story. Mm-hmm. And as far as their relationship goes, you know, I think you get to the end of this game and you wonder if Pete really has anything left to teach miles. And, you know, they're, they're, if, if anything, you know, you might get to the end of the game and go, Oh, has miles surpassed Pete? Is it time for, you know, miles to, you know, to be Spider-Man, which is which is sort of reflective of how it is in the world right now. When you talk to a lot of people, mm-hmm. uh, younger people, uh, most people are younger than me. Um, you know, you would they, like when you say Spider-Man, they don't think of Pete and then Miles as Miles Morales. When you say Spider-Man, they think of Miles Morales, which is yeah. fascinating. And I and I love it that a that you know a character can change for for what the you know what the current generation wants or needs without losing 
that care. You don't just cut that character and find another one. You change that character into, you know, because he is so loved. I mean, Spider-Man is, is so loved that you just make that character who he needs to be or who she needs to be or who they need to be for this, you know, generation. Um, and it's, it's great. And again, you know, anyone can wear the mask. And so, so anybody can have a Spider-Man now, uh, you know, that there's that, that, that they love and that is, you know, specific to them. Mm -hmm. But it's been interesting to see how, you know, the it's, it's become very balanced with this game as far as the relationship and the, um, you know, who's, who's, you know, more powerful and yeah. who's more on top of it. Uh, there, there are points in this game where uh, Miles is much more on top of it than Pete. That's for sure. If the, and, that gameplay trailer that they released says anything, there's some stuff. <laughs> on yeah, the horizon. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pete, uh, Pete, lo Pete loses his way. Miles helps him find it. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Do we, do, but wait, but now I, I have to know because obviously it's no secret that you, you're going to have the Venom suit. Uh, do we get a dance, a funny dance like Toby? Um, you know, I don't believe the dance is in the game, which is why I had to do it at Comic Con, um, so that so that you would get it, and so I would get to do it. Look, I know what I know what people want. You know what people want. <laughs> yeah, um, what and it's also why I uh, did not tell uh, Insomniac or Sony that I was going to do that because I was <laughs> I'd be afraid I was afraid that they were going to say no. I'd much rather get in trouble for it, you know, and have to apologize than to have asked permission for them to say no because then I've been okay. I won't do it. Uh, I'm mostly glad I just did, that I didn't fall off the table when I did it because that uh, that would have been a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. It's like, yeah. mm. Thank you, I Toby, to... for thank you, Toby, for giving us that Bully Maguire dance because uh, it it, it lives rent free. Yeah, October seems to be um, at least for that week as well. We've got a whole, we've got this game, and then Alan Wake Two comes out a week later, and they're both yeah. dual narrative games. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Alan Wake. I know it's it's a very heavy season. You know, if we're going from from like, you know, the last month or so through the end of the year, oh, uh, yeah. is has been a lot of games, and we're looking forward to a lot of games, and it's um, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, <laughs> you know, <laughs> where, where where to put your money, where to put your time, you know, all of that. You just, get to it eventually, but what comes first? I was just yeah. saying to Lily, obviously, I've got yeah, uh, Spider Man comes out on the twentieth, but then I've got like a full week's worth of like stuff in between. Like I've got days here and there during that week between. It's Spider Man coming out and then Alan Wake coming out, and I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be done. <laughs> right? No. Which is fine. It'll be there. Yeah. It'll be there it. for you. <laughs> it, it will wait for us. It's okay. Um, all right. Uh, before we get into our favorite movie and TV and all that territory, I have one more question because I love yes. to know, like, you know, what was your favorite scene to do in this game? In this game? Oh man, I could go with, you know, I could go with like tentpole scenes, like battles between, you know, one person mm -hmm. or other, you know, when things get, you know, really, really tense mm -hmm. um, and really, really dramatic. Because, you know, if you've learned anything from the first game, there are going to be moments that are going to be dramatic. Um, and, uh, you know, fingers crossed, you know, you should, you should, you know, at least a, a sing single tier. I was going to um, say it, the first game is one of those games that genuinely I was balling playing yeah, it same and then same with same with miles morales actually because mm -hmm. i i started miles yeah. morales and then i i um got distracted for like a year and picked it up yeah. again and it still made me cry at the end which is quite Excellent. the feat way to go insomniac <laughs> you all know how to I tell a story it. one of the things i do love about insomniac and their storytelling is the way they get you to that dramatic moment is a million little human moments you know Mm -hmm. Which which sometimes go by the wayside in in video games. Obviously, not all of them, mm -hmm. um, but but sometimes when you're when you're building game, you're like, we don't have time to have all these little moments. But those are the moments that then build towards why you're exactly. so moved yeah. at the end. It's all those those little things, and you know this game is full of little things. And I, I one of the things that I really enjoyed was was building a relationship with Harry because mm -hmm. we know who Harry is. We know who he is to Peter. Yes. But we have not seen it yet. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, in comics, movies, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, not, in the but game. not in not in the game. And and for you to care about that relationship and care about, you know, what that relationship becomes, you need we need to find a way to to build that. And getting to getting to do like flashbacks, you know, spoiler, um, we get to see Harry and Pete in high school. And it's Yay. adorable. Like, I mean, 
watch and and silly little missions that you know riding bikes together and things like that and playing basketball yeah you know that don't that are not like you know a venom fight mm. you know mm-hmm. you're like mm-hmm. ah let's just get to the venom already it's i love i love those little moments and i love how much care um you know the writers took with creating those moments and letting mm-hmm. those moments breathe a little bit um and as actors you know we just we just love doing that i mean my favorite awesome. my favorite scenes you know in uh no way home were just three spider-mans talking to each other about stuff you know i, I could i could watch a whole movie of that and so if you if you do that right it you know the the you get the payoff eventually mm-hmm. with with all the, the the action stuff oh yeah well yeah so so i think rather than any because the you know I'll, I'll be honest you know the big moments in this game those big scenes mm-hmm. i was super nervous about getting right because people because you talk about you know being so moved you know in that last game yeah like, oh no we have to do that again and then of course you know as an actor i start to lock up i'm like i don't know what i'm doing i'm not gonna be able to do it you know and so but with, with those little moments i got to relax a little more yeah. um and really and really have fun with those characters with miles and mj and harry and you know the the relations with the other characters in there as well. So, um, like I love Coney Island. Like people mm-hmm. are like, what can't you wait to play in this? Is it you know the big fight with you know Benham and this and that? I'm like, I'm like honestly, I just I want to swing around the city because it's fun. It's fun. And and I want to go to Coney Island. Yeah. Like Coney Island is just Same. delightful. Like, and I haven't even played through all the stuff. I you know we recorded a lot. I I know a certain amount about it, but I have not gotten mm-hmm. to actually see it. I just want to go hang out at Coney Island. Like yeah. it's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out what ends up being my favorite thing. Yeah. But it's funny. It's funny. The things I'm looking forward to in this game. Well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm always like with games, movies, whatever. I'm always looking for the human relationship in yeah. it. Like, you know, yeah. how, how, especially friendships, because that's like one of my yeah. favorite topics in, in movies or whatever. But in this one, especially like, you know, Big Spidey fan. <laughs> yes, so... I know. Look at you. <laughs> so I'm I'm very excited to see how the Peter and Miles story goes in there. Like I'm I, I think that's what I'm most excited about to see how yeah. their whole friendship will evolve if if that's gonna be like, you know, a big fallout or or whatever. Hopefully yeah. not. Please Miles don't. grows up. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Miles grows up. And and and, huh. and maybe and maybe and maybe Pete sheds a little, you know, a single tear uh over that i mean he's he's proud of him but you know i'm sure he's gonna miss it but he's also kind of excited maybe he doesn't have to be you know new york's only spider-man if you look at the events of across the spider verse i think there are some people who disagree with that. right that's true that's true <laughs> there are a lot of spider-mans to take care of uh take care of the business yeah it's like you know but because not gonna lie when i watched across the spider verse and obviously you pop up in it and i was like so happy instant message afterwards Me my first thought was like okay so their whole thing is that there can only be one spider-man in one universe right. you have two so i was like oh <laughs> the implications right. right what's the canon event that we have yet to yeah i know i know i know i know god i loved that movie so like uh oh. it's it was so it was so great it was so great and and it has and it's so great because of what you just talked about the tiny moment it's it's always that it's what yeah. woody harrelson said in not not woody harrelson solely just jesse Ibens, eisenberg said in uh, zombieland enjoy the little things that's right ah uh, that's good that's good that's the best that's yeah. it's always the best in games it's... movies tv yeah enjoy. i'm already yeah i mean it, it, little thing before we move on which is not really anything i'm gonna I'm, which is I'm, the little I'm, things it's the little things the little, little thing things is great. Things. one little, little thing. thing let's do it um <laughs> it, it's it's kind of i'm going a little bit off uh the characterization stuff but i, I always am very impressed by uh, you know just how well you know rendered they did the entirety of new york because my uh mm-hmm. when i was uh before i was born my dad lived in new york for a little bit and i remember when the first game came out um, my my younger brother was playing the game, and my dad will walk into a room and just sort of like you know stand there and stare and watch what's what's going on. Yeah. And I believe that they were able to find his apartment building. I have oh. heard multiple stories of people saying, "Hey, I just want you to know." Not that I had anything to do with you know the, the that part of the design, but um, I had never been to New York before, but I played a lot of Spider Man, and then I went to New York, and it actually helped me 
<laughs> get around figure out where things around. were. Like I, I felt like I knew where I was going, which in New York, if you've never been before, is a trick. I mean, it's it's lined up pretty well most of the city. It's pretty easy to figure out. But um, but having a game be so realistic mm. that you can then find your way around that city is so dope. I might ask him to point out where it is when I get this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, tell me where yeah. to go and I'll go find it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you just swing around in, in New York and be like, mm -hmm. where's my dad's apartment? <laughs> right. I have not yeah. been to New York, but it is one of those, like, that's like, it's kind oh, of like yeah. my, my bucket list. Place. It's on the list, yeah. <laughs> I already want to go. You should definitely go. They did get the, the color of my first apartment in New York door wrong. But to be to be sure, I have not been back in many years now, and it may be a different color. Maybe. Anyway. So maybe. Just put it, it out maybe. there. Yeah, yeah. It's only I just you know, we watch it. Yeah, uh, first corner first in St. Mark's. There's a there's a company that does this uh, immersive uh, theater thing uh, called Punch Drunk, who did like uh, they've got one in New York called Sleep No More, and I really want to go to that because they right. had one. They did they just closed their one that they had in London. It was called the Burn City, and I was <laughs> fully obsessed with it. Uh, I went yeah, about completely. six times <laughs> in the space of a month because I knew it was going to end, and I was like, I need to go around this as many times. As possible. I have I have heard such good things about that. Um, about them as, as a company, but sleep, sleep no more. And now I'm sad I missed that one. And I should, or they, they've got to be gearing up for something else in London. Though, well, right? they they had a little tease okay. at the thing I I went to um because I went to the last ever show um production day that they did um of of the Burnt City, which was so emotional <laughs> for me. And I, I mean, probably even more so for them. Uh, but they had this little tease at the end of it to suggest that they were doing like another part to the one that they did in london at some point which yeah. i imagine is going to take many years for them to you know create and and see to fruition but i'm like the moment anything comes up and it's like i can get to it i'm going immediately i'll have to make a point to do that too I we don't I, have this in hungary which is very annoying because <sighs> you know when katie told me about it i was like oh this is something i would enjoy not yeah. here though if it hadn't closed i would have like dragged you to yeah, yeah i would have been easily without without a question i would have been yeah let's go <laughs> let's do uh, now we all have to go masks. to new york and see sleep no more then honestly i'm, I'm coming just, over like, i <laughs> do it so bad easy peasy but we sort it out we sort it out mm -hmm. um very another very important question i have so many of them uh is related to our last talk with uh, mr jeffrey pierce did you guys yes. meet up because you talked about it we still have you know when when i was going to be in atlanta yes he was going to be in la yes and then when he was i forget you know we, we 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 did not get to cross paths in real life we're still working it out um but it, but it put my put, put him and my uh, sister back in touch again which was awesome Yay! And I had totally forgotten to tell the story about when I ran into Jeff's brother on a bus once going from back and forth between New York and Washington, D.C. Um, <laughs> Jeff's brother's a photographer and um, I, Jeffrey, sorry. Uh, and I, uh, I I totally forgot to bring that up, that the that that, that had happened as well. But, you know, um, and next time, let me let me put this out into the universe and now lock it in on this show. Uh, the next time we talk. Uh, it's David Blue is also going to be there, right? I know. Mm. I'm so excited. Not to, you know, that's a spoiler in and of itself. But um, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make that happen because I like, hang, I like hanging out with you guys. And I like uh, bringing good people together, and we yes. should, we should, uh, you know, work all that uh, into yes. one thing. Yes, 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 hundred yes. percent, absolutely. Um, all right. Um, so to to before we move away from Spider Man, <laughs> she's got one more thing. Okay, okay, right, <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Sorry, sorry, but I I found jokes, and you know I love this horrible dad I, jokes. Yes. <laughs> so I have to. Yes, okay, please. I, okay. <clears throat> Spider Man began using firearms a few days ago. <laughs> Everyone told him that it's not a good idea, but he's sticking to his guns. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Quite like that, one. Oh, that works on so many levels. <laughs> Immediately, the image that comes to mind is um, Daniel Radcliffe in that movie where he's like wakes up with yeah, yeah, guns yeah. nailed to with his With a gun hands. strapped to his hands. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, gu gu uh, guns. guns to Kimbo. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> yep. Um, he's the, which is great, and he's delightful. Mm. Um, God, I love Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, oh, anyway, uh, <laughs> and is also Japanese Spider Man. If you've ever seen Japanese Spider-Man, 
he he has no problem holding a, a machine gun. So, That's true. <laughs> you know, I've I've a, I have a couple of dear friends who absolutely love Japanese Spider Man, and we'll bring him up every time Spider Man comes up in the conversation. Yeah. It's a great yeah. Spider Man. Same. Gotta, you and know. and you should look up uh, look up Italian Spider Man too. It is. Uh, oh yeah, no, that one comes up as well. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I have to check that one out. I don't know about yeah. the Italian one. I I have to check it. Uh, I have one more, <laughs> and yes, it's because I, I just I love. You could it. do this all day. Look, you <laughs> know, I'm I'm the king of bad jokes, and not that your jokes are bad by any stretch. <laughs> they are a bit a little bit bad, <laughs> but they're bad, and I love them. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. What 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 do you? It's it's. I love this because it's like the, two of my favorite things. What do you get when you cross Jurassic Park and Spider Man? Give me just a second. I don't know. What do you get when you cross Jurassic Park and Spider-Man? Jurassic Parker. <laughs> oh, God. It was so much simpler. Oh, that is so much simpler and so much worse. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. You know, our uh, our performance director, Chris Zimmerman, for the, for the game, <laughs> yeah. uh, wanted to, uh, for her next dog, she wanted to name him uh, Peter Barker. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. A, yeah. a spider dog. A spider dog. That. Peter. Peter Barker. <laughs> um, yeah. It would be. It would be the best. But yeah. Would you anyway. do the full like Simpsons thing of holding him up onto the ceiling? And doing it, right. Spider. You gotta. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. I, it's out of my system. I'm happy now. <laughs> I shared my. Okay. Good. Jokes. Good. <laughs> we, 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 we've, we've, we've we've concluded the uh, the Spider Man portion and the bad joke portion of the show. Hi everyone, Lily here. So just a little heads up, this interview continued, but uh, the part two is going to drop later on and you will understand why <laughs> once, uh, you know, it comes out. So, you know, be patient. Uh, we already got a lot of really good Spider-Man talk in here and uh, we have more exciting things to share with you. And um, yeah, until then... Uh, we have another two interviews with Yuri uh, and one of them also has Jeffrey Pierce as well. So check those out. Uh, check out all the amazing interviews we did in the past and uh, all the videos that we did on movies and TVs and uh, everything we like. Um, so look for the part two, hopefully very soon. All right. Thank you. And uh, watch, you know, movies. watch movies. Watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Yes, so much. Bye, Yuri. Bye. Bye.